Upgrading the suspension on your machine can be and should be much more than just buying a set of shocks and bolting them up to your buggy. In the aftermarket, there's tons of options out there from cookie cutter replacements to top of the line units like this Elka that are each individually built for you, your machine and your riding style. Elka has been providing aftermarket shocks since 2000 for the off-road market and in just the last couple of years have taken that knowledge and experience and applied it to the snow. Elka shocks are more than just direct replacements. Each shock, starting with their stage one units, are calibrated to your personal weight and the sled you ride. Think of it like this, the OEs, they gotta take a shotgun approach when designing shocks and springs for their sleds because they need units that are gonna perform with all kinds of rider weights and riding styles, where Elka, on the other hand, they can zero in on these variables with rifle type accuracy. The shocks we've chosen to install on this 2008 Yamaha Apex GT are a set of stage four units for the front suspension and a stage two mono shock for the rear. This package was custom designed and ordered through Accelerated Technologies, one of Elka's dealers here in Ontario. The front remote reservoir stage four units have Elka's low speed compression adjustment with internal high speed bleed off for those big hits and rebound dampening for controlling the extension after the hit. The rear shock is a simpler stage two unit with adjustable rebound damping only. They're more of a direct OE replacement and fit better inside the skid. Now, even though they don't have all the adjustability of the front suspension, they don't need it because they come with springs and a valve solution to match the weight of the owner. Additionally, the rear only has one job to do, hold the rear of the machine up, where the fronts have to not only hold the sled up, but deal with steering it as well. The additional adjustability up front will help fine tune the suspension to the ever changing trail conditions, maximizing performance. The mix and match of stages also helps a bit in the budget department because Elka shocks are a premium addition to any sled. They're not cheap, but when you see this quality of craftsmanship and consider that each shock is built just for you, you can understand that these babies are pricey, but worth it. And hey, it's snowmobiling. Nothing is cheap about snowmobiling. And at the end of the day, Elka and their dealers want to build a package that works for you as a rider within your budget. I've had the Apex for just about a year now, and what drew me to it is uh, I've had uh, vectors and I've had a nitro, so it was a four-stroke, three-cylinder, and I thought maybe it's time to uh, get the extra cylinder. I had a 2010 vector, had about 9,000 kilometers on it, um, and the one before that I had about 9,000 kilometers, so um, it's 18,000 kilometers six winters on uh, the same motor. So I thought maybe I'm gonna go to the top of the food chain now and get the Apex, the big dog. I didn't quite like the uh, suspension. Um, I found it a little heavier and uh, it wasn't as good on the Sunday afternoon and the rough stuff. I decided to choose the Elka suspension to upgrade the Apex because uh, I've seen the ads and uh, it looks like quality, I uh, researched it, and uh, they're relatively new in the snowmobile industry, and uh, I want to try it. something that's new and something that's quality. I think it's going to make a big difference having the adjustability to uh, my riding style and riding conditions. The addition of an aftermarket suspension can breathe life into an old sled like this Apex. Let's face it, sometimes the only difference between a low-end model and a high-end model or year over year is the suspension, so a mod like this one can make that old buggy feel new again. <laughs>